I am so proud of you. I have so many things to be proud of you for, but I want to start off by saying this. I had the privilege, and yes, it was a true privilege, to watch you go from a young boy on the avenue to not only the man of my dreams, but a man of your own dreams. There were so many things that you wanted to do, and I loved to listen because I knew we would make it happen. I was ready to take them all on with you. You said you wanted to be a DJ. I said, let's go to Best Buy and buy the equipment. You said you wanted to buy and flip property. I said, fine, let's call your parents and pitch for the funds. No matter what it was, I was ready to take it on because it was with you. Even finding our true selves was with each other and I wouldn't change that for the world. You always saw my worth and I always saw yours. However, what's ironic is that we couldn't see our own. So with that being said, we built each other. Every time I looked in the mirror and even tried to say something off about myself, you made sure to remind me what you saw that I didn't. Do you remember that time where you were in a rut and you told me you didn't believe you had a purpose? My response was, well, if you keep doing the same routine and there's no change, how are you going to find that purpose? You knew I was on to something and you asked me, well, what else do you want me to do? And I said, I don't know, but let's go figure it out. For those that don't know our true love story, I'd love to tell you. I met Francesco at Diva Dance Studio when we were 11 years old. The second I saw him, I was head over heels. A little ballerina that, believe it or not, was extremely shy, had butterflies in her stomach for that break dancer that didn't know she existed. All the girls always loved him even then. <laughs> I would go home and write in my journal about him and look forward to the days that I would rerun into him. The very long story short is that he got taken out of dance for poor grades and as you could imagine, that little ballerina was heartbroken. Yes, you heard it. I had my first heartbreak at 11 years old, 11 years old, for a boy that didn't know I existed. I thought I would never see him again, but it seems like God had a different plan. Four years later, a friend informed me there was this hot guy at her school that everybody was talking about. I naturally had to ask who. She said, I believe his name is Francesco, and my gut told me it had to be him. It was history from there, and that little ballerina's dreams came true. Not to mention how good I felt to claim he was mine when all the girls wanted him. It was then Francesco told me that it looks like everything happens for a reason. I'm going to tell you some funny memories. He was always late. We had a set schedule every day for TikToks. I said, come at 3 o'clock. He would come at 4. But he had a plan. He came with coffee and a gift card in hopes that I would substitute for being an hour late. I took the gift card and coffee, but I was still mad. <laughs> when fans would come up to him, he'd get so excited. He'd be like, did you see that? And he would just strut away. He was so excited. His birthday was in October. He said, what's my budget this year? I said, I don't know, friend, maybe $1,200. He said, OK. I said, what do you want? He said, PS5. He said, but I got you. I could get it for cheap, 650 My friend Antonio, he flips them. I said, yes, let's go. I'm getting a deal, you know? So I get the PS5, he goes, a couple days later, he's like, so listen, you know what I mean? We're at 650, you said 1200. Got some things that, you know, I can add up to that. So I didn't get away with nothing. He's like, you know, the cologne's 95 bucks. I leave you at, at like 710, and he just, he was iconic. He always had a calculator in his hand. He was always adding. I'm not sure if he knew what he was adding. He's like, yo, Kaylin, do 58 times four, subtract that by 34. What's the number? He wrote it down. What's the number for? I don't know. 
don't know what the numbers were for. He always thought he needed a vacation. We'd do like one TikTok. He's like, I'm exhausted. He told me vacation is needed after hard work, but to be fair, he did work very hard. He would yell when we were making TikToks downstairs, quiet on the set. He taught me sometimes you need to live like a movie star. All the lessons that you taught me, Francesco, was a huge part of your purpose. You taught me to be a problem solver and patient. If something went wrong, I would lose it, and he'd say, well, let's figure it out, and he would. You taught me how to stay organized because your drawers are like being in Macy's. It was so inspiring. You taught me how to love, how to love unconditionally. It goes back to even the little things like, Caitlin, when you get in a car, I just want to kiss. And I'd forget sometimes because I never was an affectionate person, but you taught me that. And I'd do anything to give you that car kiss right now. You taught me family. You knew I always wanted a big, big family, and your family is so beautiful. I mean, wow. I have never seen anything like it. The loyalty, the commitment to one another, the shoulders, the crying, it's so life-changing to see. You purposely built these relationships because it was my dream, and now I can call these people my home. Your dad is one of the best dads I've ever met. He is the ideal representation of what a father should be. And you would have been an amazing father too. And I'm sorry you can't experience that dream, but you don't need to because I'm here to remind you that you would have been fantastic. And your mom, wow, she loves you. She is your other soulmate that I know you felt when she was smiling, you were smiling, and she was sad, you knew, and you would just be like, I have to go give her a hug, I'll be right back. And they're so proud of you. Your mother was so passionate to cure your cancer, and if, if love could have cured it, you would have outlived us all. I know you're so proud of her for doing everything she could. And your brother, your rock, and your best friend, no one had your back like Fabrizio, but no one had Fabrizio's back like you. The bond that you two can never be broken, and he will live out your beautiful legacy. Everything he does will be for you, and you taught him everything that he needs to know, and I'm so proud of you for that, and he is my new little brother, I promise. Francesco, you're one of the most pure-hearted and selfless persons I've ever met. You set the standards so high for how humans deserve to be treated. And I'm not sure I'll ever find anyone that could replace our true love story because that's exactly what it was. I thought it only existed in movies, but it was so real, and I thank you for that. I, I don't know where to go from here because you are my everything, but I know you will give me the strength to do so, and I will never forget everything you taught me, and thank you for get, creating the person I am today. You always told me that I inspired you, and I do thank you for that, but you are the true inspiration here. And I want you to know that if you are here in this church right now listening to me speak, I want him to teach you how life is so precious. Take care of your health. I want him to teach you that people like him do exist, and they aren't just in movies, and that you deserve the absolute best. I want you to appreciate your loved ones and give them the biggest hugs because I would do anything to have that opportunity again. I know a lot of people always made fun of me and him for documenting our everyday lives, but I am so happy I didn't let anyone dictate how I do things because that's all I have now. Take pictures, laugh a lot, say sorry, forgive because it's just not worth it. Francesco, I love you so much, and please promise all of us to visit in our dreams and leave us signs because we need them more than ever until we meet again. Caitlin, you are a very, very brave woman. Let me tell you that. You did such a beautiful job because it was from here. <laughs>